Well, In the Mood for Love is surprisingly similar in a lot of respects. We jump between scenes with little warning and not much indication of how much time has passed. And in Act 3, we are actually shown scenes out of chronological order. Furthermore, we keep joining scenes late, meaning that we have to try and catch up and figure out what is going on, and often who is playing what role. But while Memento wants to make us feel kind of tense, In the Mood for Love wants almost the opposite. The languid, yearning music and slow motion, combined with the extensive use of vivid, luscious colour, kind of lulls us as an audience. It's a strange mix being both disoriented and also lulled at the same time. And I think it's what makes In the Mood for Love kind of feel like a dream, 